very important issue in grammar is sentence fragments. What we want to do when we're looking for sentence fragments uh, is we're looking for something that, as the name implies, it's less than complete. So we're looking for something where something is missing. Um, so what we want to do to start with is we want to say, OK, we're looking for a fragment. What we have to define first is, what's a complete sentence? And there are three basic elements that go into deciding whether what you have is a complete sentence. One is, it has to have a subject. Uh, and in some languages, you can get away with not having the subject. But in English, most of the time, you have to have a subject in your sentence in order for it to be a complete sentence. Another ingredient of a complete sentence is it's going to have a verb. But not just any old verb. It needs to be a complete verb. So what that means is uh, sometimes the verb is only one word. But a lot of times, the verb has one main verb, plus also some helping verbs. And so when you're looking for a sentence fragment, sometimes uh, you, you need to make sure that the verb is complete, that it's got all the helping verbs it needs. The final ingredient of a complete sentence is actually something that it's not. It will be not dependent. By dependent, I mean it contains what are called dependent words, uh, typically either subordinating conjunctions or relative pronouns. You don't need to memorize the technical terms. But just watch out if you have dependent words things like if or because or while or that uh, those sorts of words if you have one of those that word basically means this thing can't stand by itself as a sentence um, it has to have um, something attached to it. It can't stand by itself. So when we're looking for a fragment then, what we're going to be trying to find is where does the sentence fall short, or where does it become a fragment because it's not a sentence. And so, the, so when we look at what's a fragment, we're going to be falling short in one or more of these categories. So a fragment may be missing the subject. Um, or it may be missing the verb. Or part of the verb. Or it may be dependent. So when you're looking for fragments, you're looking for something being missing or sometimes something being there. If there is a dependent word, this thing can't stand by itself, has to be attached to something. Now, because this is English, there is no one single right answer. So depending on what has caused your fragment, uh, there are multiple ways you can fix it. Uh, for example, if something is missing, you can replace it. So if you have a sentence where the subject is missing, uh, you might add a subject. Or if you have a sentence where the verb or part of the verb is missing, you might add the missing piece of the verb. So for example, if I have went to the store, Right now, we have a verb went, but we don't have a subject. So what you're going to have to do to furnish a subject is say, 
who or what went to the store. And we'll just lowercase that so we can put a subject in and say, I went to the store. So there's our subject. Or uh, you might have a missing verb or part of the verb. Um, I going to the store. We have part of a verb. We have going. But that's not a whole verb. The ing form of a verb can't stand by itself. It needs a helping verb. So in this case, we would say, I was going to the store. And so that's one technique of fixing a fragment. Another fragment repair technique is uh, connecting it to a sentence. And this may actually be the most common way of fixing a fragment. A lot of times you'll have a fragment in your paper, but really it belongs with either the sentence right before it or the sentence right after it. So I might have, um, after going to the store, and right now, we have a dependent word here, after, and we even don't even have a subject. So what we have here is something that's a fragment for two reasons. One is because it's got the dependent word. The other is because it doesn't have a subject. Um, and in fact, it doesn't even have a whole verb. So when you're looking at your own writing, uh, if you see a fragment, one of the things to do is look at the sentence before it and also the sentence after it and say, does this really need to be attached to something? So it might be, after going to the store, I went to the bank. So now we've connected this to a complete sentence. And so that's, as I said, probably most of the sentence fragments that you have, probably the best thing to do is look and see, does it really belong with the sentence before it or the sentence after it. Another way to fix a fragment, if you have a fragment that's caused by a dependent word, you can remove the dependent word or words. So that's another possible solution for a fragment. Um, if you find that you use a whole lot of dependent words that are leading to fragments, this is probably uh, some places you might want uh, to get rid of the dependent word. So I might have something like, although I was tired. In this case, we do have a verb, a complete verb even, we even have a subject, but right now, this can't stand by itself. The word although is a dependent word, and dependent words mean this thing can't be by itself. So if I want to fix this one, one easy way to do it is just get rid of the dependent word. Now, as I mentioned before, in English there is no one single right answer. So when you're looking at fragments, uh, don't always use the same method to fix them. Sometimes you may connect it to a nearby sentence. Uh, sometimes you may choose instead to remove the dependent words, whatever. Uh, but because this is English, you have a bunch of choices you can make in terms of exactly how you want to fix the fragments in your writing.